Oh, uh, a turning location for this program. This is home to a demonic creature. One that our program had to travel to the suburbs to often footage. It does not leave its home very often, but we found him. This was thanks to another type of creature we call troll. Goblins are critically endangered. With only one or two left in the entire world, this particular goblin has been seen by over 100,000 trolls. Now waging a seven-year long war. A world that has only his fantasy as the goblin has become a jester for the trolls. This relationship has never been observed before. It has fascinated the world's leading biologists and gobletologists alike. This is a relationship we observe from a distance. One we will look at further. Welcome to planet Earth. The Goblin in the Vacan. At 339 Lodge Street, the Goblin's Molding Cave is filled with children's toys as he gets from prostitution. He prepares his daily work, update of his battle with the trolls. This is a Goblin, a demonic creature that hides in the attic of his grandmother's home. This Goblin fights his demis over the internet. Goblins fight trolls from a distance due to their cowardly nature. This was documented to be his escape from YouTube, however, once again. The Goblin spends a lot of his day playing the victim. Ten years ago, I started my journey on this platform. Ten years ago, I started what I thought would be a journey into happiness and success. The Goblin dreamed of the big city to provide for his family and become a star. That was ten years ago when nearly the moment he joined YouTube. And he began to show the world that goblins were not what trolls made them to be the goblin and not what trolls made them out to be. To which unfortunately, while the rest of the world evolved and grew intelligent. The goblin failed to make any progress or and over the years, I did find some success. You see, success for this goblin has yet to be seen. His music is in fact not music at all. From ancient times, goblins could be heard from Arcus past lands. Their numbers were in place, coming forth intelligent men and women, forcing them to listen to their goblin cries as they look for a mate, a warning sign that attracted the trolls ten years ago. And also over the years, I've found a lot of torment, a lot of grief, a lot of hatred, a lot of negativity, as well as a lot of positivity. And over the years, I've made great friends that I will carry forever for the rest of my life. I've made some of my best friends in the world to this day through this platform. I've made some amazing memories with some amazing people like Classic Games Canada that I will carry for the rest of my life. Classic Games Canada is another troll, but goblins have difficulty distinguishing trolls. But here recently, over the last two years, things have gone from very, very good and joyful to where things have gotten very, very evil, very nasty, and not okay. The goblin finds himself fighting with trolls getting caught in line further. Usually leaving the platform when times get hard. Why, why, why is this always an issue? Because why, they, why are you always involved with these people online? And I have left the internet multiple times, deleted my shit the last time. Here, let me delete your YouTube account and it'll cure everything. That's the thing. Exactly. It's, that's the thing. It's not going to help. He lies to the same police officers time, time again. 
wasting their time telling on the trolls. But none of that could compare to the hatred and the evilness that William Glory Hole has done over the last several months to me, my family, and those close to me. This goblin has chosen to involve his family. Goblins force others into their wars, often being dragged down with the goblin. They are extremely selfish creatures. Over the last two months, I have been bullied, harassed, and it, it's gotten out of control. I've lost opportunities to do things that I've always wanted to do with my life. I've lost opportunities to get signed to record labels. I've lost out on sponsorships for gaming. I've lost out on amazing job opportunities that I would have taken up in a heartbeat, that I could have taken up in a heartbeat if William Boreal had not fucked me over and done what he has done to me. And a lot a lot of you are probably laughing right now, and that's fine. So, William Goral is one of the hierarchy of the troll armor. A brave troll who combats the goblin Yedo. He is seen as a war hero. All these offers he has lost were from trolls as well. However, he has yet to recognize it. You can laugh all you want. Go away and leave me alone. Chance, you just witnessed. A real-time troll attack. And, you know, to you guys that have befriended me and had my back this whole time, people like Crypt K, people like my good friend Nylet, people like Chillax, and even people like Lava, and even people that have given me good advice, such as Cruella. A lot of trolls. I want to say thank you to you guys. And to those of you that have, you know, made me laugh and smile even in the worst of times, like Classic Games Canada. I can't thank you guys enough for everything that you've done for me. All those times that I tried to leave YouTube, those were actually genuine attempts of me trying to leave, trying to escape the negativity. But I kept getting drawn back in by the hatred, by the evilness. And that's not something that I've ever wanted for myself. It wasn't always negative for the goblin. The trolls did try to defend him at one point. The goblin, however, pushes everyone away. All right, you have a good day, sir. Be friendly to Cyrax, or I'll, I'll see you around. An act of kindness they have yet to see a response to. You can even ask people like Classic Games Canada. I never once in my life asked to be bullied or harassed, ever. Ten years ago, I had a normal life. Ten years ago, I had a bright future in music. Ten years ago, I was doing what I loved without being harassed and being attacked. I had a normal life. I had everything that I wanted. I had a great career in music ahead of me. I had a wonderful girlfriend that I loved to the moon and back. I had my family and I had my friends. I had everything that a person could ever ask for. At times, we wonder if he's talking about children. And now because of William Glory Hole and what he has done to me and my family and friends, I've lost all of that. I wasn't, I mean, I'll be honest, I've not been happy like I was before all this. Every day since he started attacking me has been a constant struggle. Gorbans are a type of subhuman creature. They don't actually learn from their mistakes Oftentimes, attacking humans in horrible ways, such as rape, and often beating their loved ones. Possible due to their small size and trying to be bigger. They go after small pets, grandfathers, and children. But this goblin attacks even homes who are trying to help him, which causes an endless toxic cycle. to get out of bed, to smile, to be happy. Every day has been a constant fight of me looking over my shoulder, wondering what is he gonna do next? What's gonna happen next? And to be honest, I would like to get back to the way that I was before all of this. I would like to be able to be myself again. He is exactly as it was before, a goblin. 
the me that I was before all of this shit started. Before I started getting targeted and bullied. I want to be the real me that I was 10 years ago. Before all this started. And in order to do that, I have to leave this platform behind. I have to go back to my roots of where I started. I have to refine myself and go back to where I first started 10 years ago. At times like this, the trolls wonder. How Goblin can umpaduffle himself. And I know some of you are probably laughing at me right now, but that just shows that you don't understand. That just shows me that you don't understand what it's like to be in my position. Or what it's like to get put through what I have been put through over these last several months. These last several months have been pure hell for me. These last eight months in general have been a living, breathing nightmare for me. And to be honest, I'm tired of living like that. I'm tired of living in constant fear. The thing about fear is its ability to be created. Tocumlin is believed to have been part of a creation of fear. The same train tracks that the goblin played on before a disaster that the intel world would see. And they're saying that if this does not get controlled, that the U.S. could become, or Ohio itself could become the U.S.'s version of Chernobyl. I'm tired of living waking up always having to look over my shoulder everywhere i go i'm constantly worrying about when is he going to attack my family next who close to me is he going to attack next and for those of you that talk shit to me that just shows that you don't understand what it's like to be in my position the army of trolls watch him every day they understand the nature of the goblin for better than us. Which is why you observe the trolls and those trolls teach us about this weak, yet predatory creature. One has destroyed lives all thanks to his selfish actions. To deal with such evil, negative hatred, the way that I have been dealing with it, you know? When I started YouTube 10 years ago, when I started YouTube 10 years ago... At times, do you think the barns tried to hide self-grooming beneath their shirts? You will observe the movements. I never in my whole life thought that I would ever have to deal with something like this. I never thought that I would ever have to deal with someone as evil and maniacal and as cruel and as cold-hearted as William Boreal. People like Marty, I kind of expected. But people like William Boreal, I never saw that coming. People like Masshole Reports, I never saw that coming. Trolls outsmart and Arctic Corbins, they fall naturally to the promises of a troll. Which is why trolls like to interact with this goblin. And I talked it over with my family today. I talked it over with my bandmates. And I talked it over with my friends. And if I want to be successful with my music, I have to leave this platform behind and go back to where I started all those years ago. Do I want to leave? No, I don't. But in order for me to become who I was 10 years ago, I need to go back to where I first started which is leaving this platform behind. The goblin always friends leave. However, he comes back, and it usually is the next day. I cannot be on a platform where there is nothing but negativity and hatred. There is way too much hatred on this platform, and I can't handle it. Goblins are hated for their ability to lie and abuse. But this goblin, like the others, is terrible at his lies. Trolls are strong against his lies. Goblins are, in fact, creatures filled with evil. I don't need negativity in my life. I need like-minded people, positive people, people that want to see me succeed in my life. Those are the kind of people that I need around me. The ones who laugh and kiss him call him biscuit. 
and bud, like a flower. However, he doesn't return the love, and instead shares his true colors to the trolls. Are the reason I left? What? No, I'm standing up for Jake. Don't let her get in the way of what we have. We don't have nothing, Marty. We could have so much. Like, we love Shut each other. Shut your mouth, you fat. I know it's unconventional. I'm not doing anything! Marty. Chance. Marty. Shut up, Nick the bitch. The hatred that he exhibits too so many and those who love him is unforgivable some trolls. But even then, we must proceed to study them further. And how, see a goblin in its natural habit of the cave, scraping its long nails along its skull, it can be a long and tedious task. But one that must take place at some point. I don't need... There may be beard bugs beneath his talons. Evil individuals like William Glory Hole attacking me. I don't need it. My family doesn't need it. And my friends don't need it. For far too long, I've been harassed and attacked. One Mr. Two Time itself are the Goblin's sleep patterns. We didn't actually know them. Sometimes has an issue at 4 a.m. We don't truly know if it's a nocturnal creature, a, a daytime dweller, but he is a Goblin nonetheless. And to be quite frank, I'm tired of it. To be quite frank, I'm tired of the harassment. I'm tired of watching my family suffer. I'm tired of suffering. I'm tired of watching my friends be turned against me. Some of you might see it as weak that I'm walking away. Some of you might see it as me being weak and being a coward. But let me tell you something. It takes a bigger man to know when to walk away than to sit there and deal with bullshit like this. What? I mean, it's not just the troll army and its generals, but also myself and the world's leading Santas. As our goblins, ambition of weakens was just how weak a goblin truly is. That him and his family and friends will be involved, even if it hurts them. It takes a bigger man to walk away from a situation like this than to sit there and take bullshit like this on a daily basis. At times the goblin may stare through the camera into the soul of its natural enemies, the trolls. And honestly, I don't understand how any of you that are being hateful and spiteful towards me. I don't understand how you can sit there and be all those things when you don't know my situation. You don't know my story. You don't know what I've had to deal with in my life. I've had to deal with things in my life that I would never wish on my worst enemy. The trolls continue to tell the goblin that they in fact know as pastor. And that's where you're wrong. That's where you're wrong, Mad at you. You guys only think you know my story, but you don't truly know it until you've lived in my shoes. You do not truly know my story until you've gone through what I've gone through. Until you've been through the things that I've been through, truly know me like you think you do. Everyone claims to know my story, but you don't know my story. All you see is what's put up on the internet. And what's put up on the internet is nothing but garbage. That's all it is. Garbage. Garbage posted up by William Glory Hole because he thinks that he's right all the time when he's not. There is often the misconception that these angry creatures are children of rape. Saying this can easily anger goblins and the trolls bask in goblin and so it's a beneficial to anger these territorial creatures. No, that is not true. I am not a child of rape. That is not true. And I know you guys are just trying to start shit. That's all you're trying to do. Because that's all you trolls do. You start shit like a bunch of cowards. Because you have no... You have no life at all. You have no lives. And you like to attack people like me for the fun of it. Because you are evil, fucked up in the head individuals that clearly need help. As this goblin tries to garner sympathy, we will repeat this narrative while talking about the great hierarchy of trolls, sir. 
with a volume. But to my fans and the people that truly have enjoyed what I've done over the years, I want to say thank you for everything that you've done for me. For me, giving me amazing ideas, helping me to get to where I was. Hell, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have hit that 1,000 sub mark like I did a few months ago. But until William Glory Hole is off of this platform for good and he is behind bars where he belongs, I will not be coming back to this platform. Until the trolling stops and until William Glory Hole is behind bars where he belongs, I will not be coming back to this platform because I cannot be on a platform with such hatred and negativity being spewed. I need positive, like-minded people around me. I don't need hateful, spiteful, angry people being around me. What do you want? Excuse me? Uh, Rax made his video. He put out a video saying you were texting a 14 year old. I'm just trying to see if that's true because I really hope it's not because I really like your video. No, it's not true. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take your word for it, alright? Alright. Alright, cuz. You know what's really sad about all this? You know what's really sad about all this? Because of people like Mass Hall Reports and William Glory Hall, I've been made out to be something that I'm not. I'm not the evil person that people make me out to be. I'm not that evil person. I'm really not. Jublin's a pedophilic by nature, and he became something of disgusting proportion. A whore, cow. A danger to children. Paul was called, said that you were trying to hurt yourself. No, I'm not trying to hurt myself. What's going on is, about, do you guys know about the whole thing with me being accused of being a pedophile? Mm. About six years ago, this... The self-proclaimed you do. Let everyone know. I'm not that evil person that people have made me out to be all this time. Why can't you, why can't you just leave me alone, dude? Seriously. <laughs> Fuck off. Blind Billy was no god, but a friend of the goblins. A friend that the goblins suck on. A friend who one is thought he could trust the goblin. But goblins are rapists and they will do anything for their mushroom tips. My... My pants and underwear come off, or at least down to the ankles, and he basically gets behind me and just starts rubbing himself, himself on my ass, basically. No penetration, but I want to say it was probably just a way to get himself erect. Who, who the hell knows? Sure. Um... And then he flipped me onto my back, or at least moved me onto my back, and ended up sucking and jerking me off until I ended up uh, ejaculating. And uh, he seemed to have enjoyed that because when I was about ready to ejaculate, he had said something along the lines of, oh yeah, I can hear it. The Gorbrin can hear an ejaculation from about 500 miles, which led to the invention of the modern day home. If you guys think this is a joke, it's not funny. I'm not laughing. I almost had my entire life ruined because of you trolls. I've had almost my entire life ruined because of all you trolls that want to spew hatred at me. And why you want to spew hatred at me, I don't understand. Like, why is it that you guys feel like you have to spew hatred at me when you don't truly know me? I don't understand it. Uh, a bun's way of attacking trolls was to try to make them feel guilty. But I hope you trolls are happy. An old and dated tactic. I hope that you trolls are happy because you are getting exactly what you want. And I am leaving this platform. And as I said, until William Glory Hole is gone, and until the trolling stops, until I see that the trolling stops, 
I will not be coming back because I will not be on a platform where there is hatred and negativity being spewed at me every five seconds of the day. I will not be on a platform where I am constantly attacked, constantly harassed, where my life or my family's lives are being put in danger. He claims his family is in danger and yet the opposite has happened. The guy sent me uh, another donut for my birthday. <laughs> and well, you get free donuts. We love those. <laughs> well, he sent me one of those flowers too. I'm like... <laughs> where we can see the true value of Prodols to not just the community, but of Prodols' value or life. Even the goblins and great poor little family. You guys are good at no, thank you. I cannot be on a platform where my life or my family's lives are being put in danger because they have been put in danger. My life has been put in danger on several different occasions and I don't need that in my life. I don't need hatred and negativity in my life. What I need is love, positivity, kindness, support. That's what I need in my life. So after this live stream is done, I will be deleting this channel for good. And I will not be coming back. I will not be creating another channel. I will not be coming back after this. There's a common fear in the Goblin Lodges community that this Goblin would one day disappear. Leaving us suspected why Mother Nature has given us these mysterious creatures in the first place. And don't bother trying to reach out to me because I will not respond to you unless you are a friend. Unless you are a friend like Chillax, or if you're a friend like Crypt K, then yes, I will respond if you're a friend to me. But otherwise, I will not be responding. After this live stream is over, I will be immediately deleting all my social media. The only thing I will have is my Facebook, which is privated, so that I can keep in contact with my friends and my family. Other than that, you will not find me on YouTube ever again. But at this point, trolls are used to his lie. The only thing that will be left are remnants of me being here. And that's it. That's all you trolls will have are the remnants of me not being here anymore. That's all you trolls will have is a remnant of what used to be. The remains of me being here will be gone. While we don't want goblins to become extinct, we do have an unnatural hatred for them. Especially one that lives in a home where goblins are the reason why we build homes. To protect our children from these monsters. Because I want to do better for my life. I deserve to do better. I deserve better than this. And in order to be better, I have to leave this platform. Actually, yes I am. I am going to delete my merchandise shop. And when I am ready, I am going to re-up a shop under a whole different brand and name. We're watching a clear of an exaggeration of a goblin having a melton. But in doing so, he shares with us the struggles of everyday life with his war with the trolls. An opportunity so incredible that this goblin has shared his entire life to us. Good luck, I love you guys. Peace. Thank you for watching this episode of Planet Earth, brought to you by Pickles the Bed Bob. Like and subscribe for more.